1960 Turkish coup d'état Turkish, 27 Mayish Darbesi, was the first coup d'état in the Republic of Turkey. The coup was staged by a group of 38 young Turkish military officers, acting outside the staff chief's chain of command. It was orchestrated by Alparslan Turks and ultimately led on May 27, 1960 by General Semel Gerzel, against the democratically elected government of the Democrat Party. Alparslan Turks was a member of the Junta National Unity Committee. Topic Background The incident took place at a time of both socio-political turmoil and economic hardship, as U.S. aid from the Truman Doctrine and the Marshall Plan was running out and so Prime Minister Adnan Mendera planned to visit Moscow in the hope of establishing alternative lines of credit. Topic. Coup. Colonel Alparslan Turks orchestrated the plot. He was a member of the Junta National Unity Committee and had been among the first 16 officers trained by the United States in 1948 to form a stay-behind counter-guerrilla. As such, he explicitly stated his anti-communism and his faith and allegiance to NATO and CENTO in his short address to Nation, but he remained vague on the reasons of the coup. On the morning of May 27, Turks declared the coup over radio, which ultimately announced the end of one period in Turkish history, and usher in a new one. The great Turkish nation, starting at 3 a.m. on 27 May, the Turkish armed forces have taken over administration throughout the entire country. This operation, thanks to the close cooperation of all our citizens and security forces, has succeeded without loss of life. Until further notice, a curfew has been imposed, exempt only to members of the armed forces. We request our citizens to facilitate the duty of our armed forces, and assist in re-establishing the nationally desired democratic regime. In a press conference on the following day, Semel Gerzel emphasized that the purpose and the aim of the coup is to bring the country with all speed to a fair, clean and solid democracy. I want to transfer power and the administration of the nation to the free choice of the people. Thus, the coup removed a democratically elected government but expressed the intent to install a democratically elected government. Topic. Purge The junta forced 235 generals and more than 3,000 other commissioned officers into retirement, purged more than 500 judges and public prosecutors and 1,400 university faculty members and put the chief of the general staff, the president, the prime minister and other members of the administration under arrest. It followed by the appointment of the commander of the army General Semel Gerzel, as the provisional head of state, prime minister and the minister of defense. <laughs> Yasirda trials The Minister of the Interior, Namik Gedik, committed suicide while he was detained in the Turkish Military Academy. President Selal Bayer, Prime Minister Adnan Mendera and several other members of the administration were put on trial before a court appointed by the junta on the island Yasirda in the Sea of Marmara. The politicians were charged with high treason, misuse of public funds and abrogation of the constitution. The tribunals ended with the execution of Adnan Mendera, Minister of Foreign Affairs Fatan Rustu Zorlu and Minister of Finance Hassan Polatkin on Imrali Island on 16 September 1961. <laughs> Aftermath Constitutional referendum was held on 9 July 1961. A new constitution was drawn up to replace the one from 1924. 
It was approved by 61.7% of voters, with an 81.0% turnout. A month after the execution of Mendera and other members of the Turkish government, general elections were held on 15 October 1961. The administrative authority was returned to civilians, but the military continued to dominate the political scene until October 1965. General Ismet Inonu held the office of Prime Minister for the third time from 1961 to 1965. Turkish Army Colonel Talat Aydemir organized two failed coups d'état in February 1962 and May 1963. In the first free elections after the coup, in 1965, Suleyman Demirel was elected and held the office until 1971, when he was removed by another coup. Topic. See also 1971 Turkish Military Memorandum 1980 Turkish Coup d'etat 1997 Turkish Military Memorandum 2016 Turkish Coup d'etat Attempt Turkish Constitution of 1961 Multi-party period of the Republic of Turkey History of Turkey Committee of Inquest